Hello and welcome everyone to yet another one of my The Man in the High Castle videos and the show's third season. I guess it's about time I took a break from all the comic book shows for a bit here and worked on one of my favorite shows. Now if you're a subscriber to my channel, it's no secret I couldn't get myself to stop talking about the second season of The Man in the High Castle for a few weeks after its release, because let's be honest here, the second season of the show was just great. But I'm not here today to discuss the past represented in the second season of the show, but rather the future represented in what we know so far about the third season of The Man in the High Castle. Before I get to venture further though, I'd like to remind you that it is always much appreciated if you drop me a like, if you end up liking the content of this video, and if you subscribe if you want to see more of my The Man in the High Castle videos. I'd also like to remind you to click the bell shaped icon underneath this video once you've subscribed in order to enable notifications, hence getting updates whenever I post a new video. But finally I'll be posting a recap of the second season sometime over the next couple of months. I'm just going through the episodes of the second season to make sure I don't miss anything vital or of importance in my recap and then I'll be able to get the video ready and good to go for upload. But circling back to our topic, here's what we know so far on the upcoming season of The Man in the High Castle. Number 1. Jason O'Mara, whom we've recently watched portrayed the role of Marvel's Patriot and the Inhuman director S.H.I.E.L.D. Jeffrey Mace on Marvel's Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D., has been cast to join the third season of The Man in the High Castle and in more of a leading role. He'll be portraying the role of the Irish-born Wyatt Price whose family fled the war in Europe, immigrating to New York before they had to move again towards the West ahead of the Nazi invasion. Now his main residence happens to be in the neutral zone, which means many fans will be getting what they have asked for, seeing more of an area that has been barely addressed and explored on the show. The release details on the character he'll be portraying stayed that just like most of those who have made the neutral zone their home, he's learned to survive as a hustler who trades in various black market goods and services. But the statement then goes to describe him as more than just a survivor. He's apparently a man who believes in what America was prior to the Nazi and Japanese invasion and what the neutral zone still happens to be, describing it as a melting pot worth saving. Now for starters, all of this indicates that the character will be more of the resistance type, possibly a different kind of resistance though, one that is smarter than the rest we've seen so far and one that has been enriched by actual experience and survival instincts. Now I'm personally guessing he's as well gonna be key to the events of the upcoming season. I could hear the words change is coming as I read the description to his character. But moving on to number two. Still on casting news here, the show seems to have cast William Forsyth in the role of J. Edgar Hoover, the very powerful and extremely controversial first director to the FBI. Now I'm not really sure how he'll be portrayed on the show. Alright, let me rephrase that. Now I suppose Hoover will be showing up in the alternate reality that Tagomi has been repeatedly visiting for sleepovers over the course of the second season. However, I wonder if they would present us with two versions of Hoover, one who is the director of the FBI in the alternate reality and one that is part of the show's core reality, who happens to be way less powerful yet possibly as controversial in a way. With no details on the character yet, I guess all we can do is wait for more details or for the upcoming season to be released. But moving on to number 3. Now I've already mentioned this one on a previous video on the topic, but apparently the majority of the work on season 2 happened without a real showrunner. So pretty much Frank Spotnitz, who was the showrunner then, quit halfway through the production of the second season and was not replaced right then and there. However, the show is now in the hand of Amazon's boss showrunner Eric Overmeyer. Now considering the second season came out this decent without a showrunner, I wonder if it only has room for improvement moving forward. But finally moving on to number 4. The show is slated to release its third season in 2017, so with no trailer released and with the casting of some characters still underway and being announced only recently, it is expected it would release closer to the end of the year. That would possibly mean that a December release date is possibly in the cards for it, just like a second season. Now before I end this video, here's a reminder of all the questions the show has left us with at the very end of the second season. Number 1. Why did Lam Washington visit Tigomi at the very end and present him with all these films? Does the Resistance know of his trips to the alternate reality? What makes them trust him so much? Does Juliana have anything to do with that sudden surge of trust in the man? Number 2. Who is the Trudy we met by the very end of the second season? Is she an alternate version of the character? Is she the core reality's version and if so, then how is she still alive? Number 3. What will John Smith's reaction be to whatever ended up happening to Thomas? Will he manage to save him before it is too late and if not, will he flip to the side of the resistance against his employers? Number 4. Is Frank Fring dead and if not, how will they explain it in a convincing manner? Please don't tell me he phased into another reality. Number 5. 
Where are Ed and Charlton going? Where will they end up? And how will their art play from there? Number 6. How will Joe Blake get out of his pickle after being arrested along with his father by the SS officers on the finale of the second season? What will he do once he's out and back in the open? Number 7. Will we meet more alternate versions of other characters just like we did Juliana during Tagomi's visit to that other reality? Well, last and not least, number 8. Will the show be visiting realities other than the two we know so far? But with that being said and these questions being posed, let me know in the comments what you thought of this video and what you expect out of the third season of the show. And until I see you next, thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day.